I screwed up. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, both of my hamster cages have mites. Again. Because I screwed up and I forgot to freeze their food and I think that's where the mites are coming from. So I'm basically going to be doing a full 100% clean out of Franklin and Lily's cages. Now please don't do this if you don't have any kind of issue because 100% clean outs can be really really stressful for hamsters but since I do have this issue I'm unfortunately going to have to do this. Here is Franklin's current cage and I love his setup. I'm going to take some pictures of it so I remember what it's like so I can set it up as close as possible to this because I'd hate to just tear it all down and then forget the arrangement of things and just not know what to do. It really sucks having to tear down a hamster cage so please make sure you freeze any bedding or food before putting it in your hamster's cages but I forgot to freeze the food so I'm going to have to completely tear down his cage and start over. So I'm not sure if you're able to see here but that little dot right there that's moving around that's one of the mites. One of the many on here, you might not be able to see a lot of them because some of them are super tiny and just simply won't show up on camera, but you can see that one over there. If you look very closely, there's another one and another one. So they are just all around here and if I don't do anything about it, even if I fix the problem, freeze the food, as long as they still have a food source, they're going to continue breeding and getting out of control and this is never going to end. So we do have to do a full clean out and freeze all of his wooden items and everything that I can't just wash off. So you might remember that Franklin has had mites in his cage before. I've actually gone through this entire process before, but Lily's cage hasn't had mites before. This is the first time I'm dealing with it in Lily's cage, so let's go see what's going on over there. So these are gonna be even harder to see since it's a little darker over here. And I'm not quite sure if they're going to show up on camera at all. But again, they look like the same exact thing. They are the same exact mites. And you can kind of see one right there if you look very closely. But the others are kind of tiny and I don't think they're really going to show up. I'm actually going to be doing Lily's cage tomorrow because I also want to decorate her enclosure for Christmas tomorrow. And that's going to be a separate video. So I'm just saving all of this for tomorrow and focusing on Franklin today. Okay, I just spent like an hour watching YouTube and completely putting this off, but it's time this gets done. I've put it off enough already, so let's just go ahead and do it and get it over with. I'm just going to start by like getting all the bedding and all the stuff out because that's going to be the most annoying part. So I'm going to take all of his decorations, put them in these trash bags, get them ready to go in the freezer so it'll kill off all the mites. And then I'll go ahead and throw out all of this bedding. So let's just go ahead and do it. Franklin. Did you see him? He's gonna come out and see what's going on. Hey, sorry for disturbing you. You can wake up a little later if you'd like. I'm just finishing this up for you. And then I'm gonna put him in his carrier in a minute if he does decide to come out. Poor little guy, I'm sorry, but this has to happen. Alright, so now I'm just going to kind of move to this side of the cage, the right hand side of the cage, and get everything out of there, and then I'll go ahead and start tossing bedding out, and I'll make sure to put Franklin in his carrier soon. So, um, yeah, this is going to be fun. 
let's go ahead and take all the wooden items out as we've been doing and i'll make sure to wash his wheel off i'm obviously going to keep the wheel in there after it's nice and clean because he still needs a wheel and let's just chill and get this done and put some wood in the bag While we're doing this, how have you all been doing? I'm pretty good. I set up a fish tank yesterday. There will be a video on that soon. And I'm just hoping to get all of this done. I'll be decorating the animal cages for Christmas soon. That will be another video. I'm excited about filming all these videos and hopefully getting them out sometime soon. I have some Christmas videos planned, some fun stuff, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And I figured while we're here, just kind of cleaning, getting all this done, this is kind of boring, obviously, so I figured I would update you guys on some of the pets. So we'll start with the dogs, I guess. Lucy has been doing well. She's almost two years old. She'll be two on December 11th. Maggie will be five on December 18th. She's been doing well too, so that's exciting. So we have some dog birthdays coming up soon. And Georgia has just been Georgia. She recently turned four, I do believe. Yes, she's four. And all the pets have just been kind of chilling. Nothing really much going on with them. Franklin obviously has a mite issue and so does Lily, but we're fixing that today. And the guinea pigs have been good. They've been launching away. I gave them a little Thanksgiving feast the other day. I'm filming this the Saturday after Thanksgiving, so that was nice and fun. They definitely enjoyed that. I'm sorry, Franklin's wheel is so dirty. I swear I cleaned it the other day, but he peed in it last night, so yeah but yeah other than that Sirius and Yoshi have obviously been doing well nothing much up with them and other than the fish tank and this whole mite situation there's nothing particularly exciting going on with the pets I have recently been to a dance convention which was really fun I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a dancer and I dance like 13 hours a week, so that's fun. But yeah, I'm going to another dance convention in a couple weeks, so that'll also be fun. And I've gotten most of the stuff out of his cage now, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and get the rest of it out, get the bedding out, and kind of speed up this footage because I don't know if me sitting here talking is boring. But, um, yeah, nice, nice chat. We'll see you guys in a minute. I have his carrier right here. I'm gonna go ahead and find him real quick. I actually don't know where he went. I think he's somewhere in there. All right, I found him. He does not like being picked up during the- I'm going to, head in, going to go ahead and scoop him up real quick. He's a little mad and I don't want him to bite me. So I'm just gonna go right there. Okay, and he seems fine now. So let me go ahead and oh my gosh, he's escaping. Come back, Franklin. Come on here. Okay, thank you, sir. Can you please stay in there? Okay, thank you, sir. I really don't want to handle him too much, so that's why I kind of scooped him up. Because you really shouldn't handle hamsters during the day. But here he is, and he's just going to kind of chill in there. I will monitor him to make sure he doesn't try to escape. But I think he'll be fine in here for at least a few hours. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and finish his cage for him.
One thing I will say is I don't know if I have some kind of allergy to this bedding or dust or whatever, but this makes me sneeze so bad when I have to do cage cleans like that. Like this, this is another reason why I don't like doing a whole lot of cage cleanouts because there's a lot of dust when you're doing a 100% clean out and it makes me sneeze really bad and yeah, not fun. I feel like it's allergy pollen season all over again. As you can see, all the bedding is gone. I left the sand in there because I don't think the sand is a problem. I didn't see any bugs in there. And the bugs were mainly on the left-hand side of the cage. And when I scatter feed Franklin, I tend to not feed him in the sand, obviously. So I think that'll be fine. I'll bake some of it if I need to, but I still need to wipe the cage down, which is kind of boring. So I'll do that off camera. And I'm gonna go take a quick lunch break and I'll be back. All right, I'm back, so now we're just gonna reset up his cage. trashy I promise this is temporary I literally have cardboard tubes everywhere I built him a little ramp and it looks it's terrible but hopefully he'll be able to climb up on it he's a smart boy he'll be able to figure it out if this has not already convinced you to freeze your hamster food before you put it in your hamster's cage I don't know what will but I seriously do not have enough bedding that's like six inches maybe eight inches in the back I like to give him like 13 14 inches <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so bad. This is literally just scraps of what it had in my closet because everything in his cage is in the freezer right now. Wow. All right, just finished washing Franklin's wheel off. I just got so much sand off of this thing. It looks like my sink took a trip to the beach. But anyway, I'm going to put this wheel in here and then we'll go ahead and get Franklin. I feel okay handling him now because he seems to be in a much better mood and he'll probably be a little happier since he's gotten some sleep. I'm gonna give him a minute to kind of wake up and see how he's doing. And there he is. Let's see if he wants to explore his new home. I think he's gonna go ahead and climb right up onto this thing. Come on. You can do it. All right, I set him down. Set him down, got him in there. I'm gonna readjust some of his toys real quick, his tunnels. I'm so sorry, dude. No, had to wake you up. Sucks. He's got some tunnels. I love him, he's so sweet. Like, look at him, I was complaining about him biting me earlier, but I swear that's only happened a couple times. He's so sweet, I love him. All right, and there he goes. Hopefully he's off to bed. I really don't want to disturb him too much. I'm not gonna get him out and handle him right now. I'll wait till later to do that. But that concludes Franklin's cage. Now we're gonna go ahead and do Lily's. I'm a liar and I'm actually gonna do hers today and get it out of the way because I want to decorate the piggies and my room for Christmas tomorrow. Here we are at Lily's cage. The first thing I'm gonna do is take down these flowers because I want to put Christmas lights up here later. And again, you'll see that in the decorating my animals cages for christmas video coming out soon 
But yeah, um, let's go ahead and do that and then I'll fix the camera angle and we'll get started. All right, that's done. My nose is running so bad and I'm sneezing so much because again, with the bedding, I have some sort of allergy to that dust or something. But yeah, that's fun. Anyway, let's just do her cage. I'm just gonna start taking stuff out and then we'll have to catch her, which is always a challenge. forever to catch her but here she is if you didn't already know Lily is one of those hamsters that doesn't like being handled and may never become tame but I'm okay with that she's still really cute as you can see so she's just kind of a look don't touch kind of animal and that's fine too so let's continue taking bedding out and cleaning her cage So it's the next day after setting up Franklin's cage and I added a couple things. I added this bendy bridge here and this little cup thingy. And as you can see, he's kind of ruined it because I don't know what he was up to last night, but he also tipped over his water, so that's why there be there's bedding in it. I'll fix it later. But I gave him some veggies last night because the seed mix is still in the freezer and I need to take it out today and mix it all up and get it ready. But I didn't want to starve my poor hamsters, so I gave them a bunch of little veggies just so they had something to eat. And yeah, this is his current setup. I'm sorry if it sounds terrible, I just woke up a little bit ago. And my nose is still bother bothering me from all of that dust yesterday. So hopefully I'll be able to get him back into his more permanent setup soon with all of his nice decor and more bedding. And yeah. So that is just about it for this video. If you want to see me resetting out Lily's cage, you should either go watch the decorating my animal's cage for Christmas video, or you'll have to wait a few days until that video is out. So I hope you guys enjoyed or found this informative in some way. I just hope this wasn't a pointless video, basically. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!